Let's begin with the clinical unit. A premature child is born to 36-year-old mother. The child has respiratory difficulties and placed on artificial ventilation. Glutamate residues of some proteins in the liver fail to carboxylate. Which of the following vitamin is responsible for this carboxylation? So the vitamin K is the fat soluble vitamin. The oxidized form of the vitamin K is converted to the reduced form by apoxide reductase. So this vitamin K is an essential cofactor for the gamma carboxylation of the glutamate residues of certain clotic factors and the protein CS. So these clotting factors are important for the clotting, particularly the factor 10. So what does the factor 10 do? Factor 10 convert this prothrombin into the thrombin and this thrombin finally convert the soluble fibrinogen into the fibrin that stabilizes the blood clot. Next. So this apoxide reductase is important because the warfarin is a drug that inhibit this apoxide reductase and we monitor the warfarin by a test INR. So the deficiency of the vitamin K present with increased prothrombin time and increase APTT and there is a normal bleeding time because bleeding time depends upon the function of the platelet and neonatal hemorrhage. So the causes of the vitamin K deficiency is a malabsorption syndrome because the vitamin K is a fat soluble when there is a malabsorption there is a decreased absorption of the vitamin K broad spectrum antibiotics that kills the intestinal flora that produce vitamin K. Intestinal flora. Next, the neonate. Neonate lack the bacteria that produce that produce vitamin K that produce vitamin K. Next is the liver disease. So the decrease liver disease and decrease production of this enzyme apoxide reductase. And there is a decrease conversion of the oxidized form of the vitamin K into the reduced form. And there is a decreased gamma carboxylation of the glutamate residues. In this way, the function of the vitamin K is a compromise. 